It is January 14th of the year 2022. After many delays, the Third Street Market is finally open. And your boy is going to check that out. The Grand Avenue Mall opened in 1982, and after years of decline, it shut its doors in 2019, which leads us to the Third Street Market Hall, present here, just freshly opened. This is its opening day. Plenty of room for activities. It's a family friendly space. You can play bags, you can play shuffleboard, has tons of Milwaukee floor all throughout, but to me, I get to try all the food vendors, which brings us to Strega, our first stop. So the first thing I ordered is from Strega. I got some mac and cheese. Let's see how this looks. Here's the mac and cheese. Oh man, look at that. That looks dynamite. <laughs> Ooh, look at that bad boy steaming. <laughs> that mac and cheese is really rich. That cheddar sauce, man. It's dynamite. I'm not even gonna try to butcher the words, so the name of the sauce is right here. <laughs> it tastes delicious. Look at that. Look at that. And this is the last bit of it. Strega, they're pretty legit. Get the thumbs up from your boy. And there's a place where they, right next to Strega here that sells pierogies. I'm gonna go nab up some of them bad boys too. I'm trying everything here, everything. <laughs> Hot Dish Pantry is our next stop. Got my pierogies from Hot Pantry. Nate's a great guy. Go support these guys. Strago was good also. But, look at these bad boys, these pierogies. I love pierogies. I will do anything for pierogies. Just nothing that will make me look bad, make me look goofy, none of that. And these are the loaded baked potato pierogies. I'm a sucker for potatoes. It's carbs, you know, it's help the gains out. Look at that. See that? And that is potato, bacon, and aged cheddar as a filling. And also, you have the chive sour cream dipping sauce. I'll try it without it first. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's super good. It's really rich, it's hearty. It's literally an encrusted baked potato. <laughs> and now I'm gonna try it with this sour cream chive dipping sauce. That's really good. <laughs> pierogies are delicious. Look at that. That's pretty and has a nice perfect brown crusting on them. The best part is they're not overcooked on top of all the flavors inside of it. These are pretty damn good. And plus the cheese, who doesn't love baked cheese? Let's rip this bad boy again. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, so those pierogies demolish them things. Those things got freaking massacred. <laughs> but still, two more places for your boy to try. So let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> How about burgers? Because you can never go wrong with burgers. Let's go. Dairyland is stop number three. I got my food, look at this, got the onion rings, I got my bacon cheeseburger, and one of my buddies came with me, well, he met up with me. I'm not gonna let this ruin a good thing, because I've just messed up a war, but you know him, say, say what's up to him. Zach and Cody, it's the sweet life. <laughs> All right, so look at these onion rings. 
that's a nod to you. Zach did that in Minnesota, and I feel like the Terminator. If you put three of them like this, I'll cook an iPhone camera on the back. <laughs> this is my thumbnail. <laughs> like, what's wrong with this guy? Get the batter on that. Whole onions. Whole onions, it's not the weak sauce stuff, all right? It's falling apart. But this is my hopes hanging on for a dear life. All right, we'll ignore that one. Cause this sauce right here, it, you can taste like mustard, there's mayo with it. It's, the sauce is legit. The onion rings, like a monocle. Okay, enough of that. Look at the Johnny Gargano logo. <laughs> Dairyland also is at the food truck park Sakawa, which is another awesome place I will make a video for. Dairyland actually has their own stand here. This is their double bacon cheeseburger. The beef at this place is really fresh. Look at that. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> and they already have some of that sauce on the bottom of the burger. And you can see the pickle. My guy Zach has the right idea. Look at that. Dude, that sauce like pushes it to a completely different level. It was already really good, but you add more sauce to it. I don't know exactly what the hell that sauce is, but it's amazing. And I'm gonna order shots of it. I fill up a jug, like a gallon. And I'm gonna work out with it. I lied. The guy behind me thought it was funny. <laughs> This is it for the onion rings. The sauce, dude, the, the sauce is godlike. I'm not too good, but I will finish this. Listen to the crunch. Sharing in his soul. Fuck. <laughs> but... Oh, sure, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, man, appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. All right. So, I finish that off. I'm gonna go get some sweets to finish it off. And let's do it. Here's a loading bar in the bottom because I don't know what else to say. So I was gonna go get sweets, but I smelled pizza. Look at that. They don't have the signage up yet, but they have cards. This is a mono. Mono y mono. <laughs> but right there, they have like fresh bread, everything here. And what they say this was like potatoes, potatoes leeks, uh, cheddar cheese, and a chipotle sauce. Okay. All right. So basically, it's almost like their own twist on a loaded potato pizza. Got some kick to it. It's very funky, but funky isn't always bad. This is pretty damn good. I like the potatoes. You know, you get the hardiness with it. The leeks. Add a nice little twist to the flavors. Man, I'm getting to the end of this pizza. Dude, I had some chipotle sauce on it. This bad boy was Mount Vesuvius hot. I think it's almost as hot as that damn marinara I had from Basic Bar in San Diego. Huh, what? Hmm. They gave me some of this spicy marinara sauce. Don't remind me. But, look at that. Look, look at that. This crust is top notch. Top notch. You huh? see the Bucks kill the Warriors last night anyway? <laughs> Let's get sweet treats from Midway Bakery. So we gotta walk back to Dairyland and place our order there. This blondie right here. Dude, this thing, if I threw it at a window, it will break. Now, if there's a broken window in your neighborhood, just know I didn't do it. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's a figure of speech. But you, you tried your brownie already, right? Oh my God, yes, this hockey puck, in a good way. Hold that to the camera. Ooey gooey brownie. Put that to the camera. Look at that. It 
has that nice little uh, powdered sugar on it. But here's the blondie, like the band blondie. Oh my goodness. This thing is tremendous. But this is fantastic. Absolutely top notch, not mid. <laughs> so he gave me a piece of his ooey gooey brownie. Look at that. Is that peanut butter? I think it's caramel. Caramel? Oh my goodness, this heart attack right here. Ooh, this thing is also heavy. Walnuts and caramel. Look at that. This is great. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Cheers to that. Third Street Market. Come out here, support them. Have a great time. I'm definitely going to be back when all the other vendors are here. So, I'm getting faded. It's a mocktail, man. It's a mocktail.